Hello. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, a new control which has been added to ISO 27001 Poland 2022, which is the Information Security Management System uh, standard uh, and a new version which has released in 2022, last year. So there is a control uh, uh, 5.7, which is uh, threat intelligence. So I'll be talking about threat intelligence uh, from the implementation perspective and from the uh, auditing perspective also. If you look at the cybersecurity scenario, the cybersecurity threats are uh, becoming more advanced and, and more persistent. So uh, the threat intelligence, actually, uh, you can consider as a process. It's, it's an evidence-based information about different types of, uh, different types of uh, attacks, different types of threats. And this information can be organized, can be collected, can be analyzed, which can allow you uh, to prevent uh, from the threats or to mitigate the threats if it happens. So organizations can uh, use threat intelligence to prevent, to detect, and to respond to different types of threats. Now we can uh, think of uh, threat intelligence at three different levels. So first is strategic level, strategic threat intelligence. Second is uh, tactical uh, threat intelligence. And uh, third is operational threat intelligence. There is one more layer which is the technical uh, threat intelligence, but uh, will not go into the technical part of it, implementation part of it, uh, but uh, strategic level, for example, the first level is strategic level. So strategic threat intelligence provides you the high level information uh, uh, about the different types of possibilities and threats and risks so that the senior leadership can make the decisions based on the uh, possible types of threats, the threat landscape, uh, now, since the strategic threat intelligence uh, focuses on non-technical information rather than specific types of threat actors, specific types of indicators, attacks, so uh, more about non-technical uh, uh, perspective of the threats. So uh, uh, generally, this kind of information is provided by independent providers, advisors, government agencies, uh, maybe some uh, collaborative uh, threat intelligence groups, uh, you can also refer to some local laws, national laws, international regulations and laws, policies, procedures, documentations, guidelines. So uh, this is where we are talking about the strategic uh, level of threat intelligence. So this is actually, uh, this actually uh, helps you to understand the organization's cybersecurity posture. Uh, when you are, when you are defining the policies, procedures, when you are defining the budget uh, for the different types of tools and actions. Second level of threat intelligence is uh, tactical threat intelligence. So this tactical threat intelligence focuses uh, uh, more on the types of the actor, techniques, procedures for, uh, which, which are used to uh, get the insights, uh, different types of potential attacks and all these things. So generally, uh, the security operation centers, the SOC teams or the network operation centers, the NOC teams, uh, your IT managers, uh, uh, senior IT professionals, these kind of people and teams can use the tactical threat intelligence to prevent from cyber attacks or any other different types of malware attacks and everything. So uh, you can think about the URL blocking, IP blacklisting, uh, understanding different malware trends, uh, different ransomware attacks and their patterns, network traffic patterns. So all these things comes under the tactical uh, threat intelligence. Then comes the uh, uh, third level or the third phase of uh, the threat intelligence that is operational threat intelligence. Now operational threat intelligence gives uh, the security teams some actionable information which are related to different types of threat actors, nature of the threat, uh, motive of the threat, timing of the threat, methods of the uh, uh, threat, how the attack has been created uh, and how you can uh, how you can prevent or proactively detect an attack uh, and you can mitigate those threats. So all these things, the operational part of uh, the threat intelligence comes in uh, this layer. So this threat intelligence should be designed considering the protection needs of the, of the organization uh, and the industry in which the organization is, the organization is part of. So in short, it should be relevant to the organization. So for this, uh, you can identify the internal and external information sources, 
that are uh, necessary and appropriate to provide uh, relative information to you. Uh, you can you can consider some special interest groups. You can uh, follow some blogs, websites, uh, maybe uh, some some government websites, uh, notifications, OAPs, and uh, NIST, NIST kind of uh, uh, link sources, certain kind of feeds, uh, some uh, some other organizations and bodies like ISACA. So all these uh, all these are the information sources. Uh, where you can get some relevant information for your organization and for your for your uh, security posture. Now, uh, these all sources can be considered to get all the relevant information. Okay. Now, only collecting all this relevant and insightful information is not sufficient. You need to analyze all this information appropriately so that so that you will be able to create the situational awareness amongst the multiple teams, different teams, IT teams project teams and everything. So for example, you can uh, you can have some kind of analysis on the uh, time of the events, uh, when some specific events are happening, is there any pattern in that, where they occur, in which department they occur, in which on which networking components they are happening repetitively, uh, then uh, what are your previous experiences or, uh, or if there are any similar kind of attacks in other organizations like you. So all uh, this kind of information you can, uh, you can uh, try to analyze from the available information. So with this organization can act quickly and effectively if there is any possible attack. So in a nutshell, threat intelligence, uh, if you look at from ISO 27001 colon 2022 perspective, this means uh, uh, defining and implementing the processes to include the uh, different, different uh, types of information which you have gathered from different threat intelligence sources. Uh, so that it can it can also help you to define your risk management process also that can be a, one of the important inputs for your risk management process this also means implementing technical uh, preventive detective uh, and different types of controls like you can think about firewall firewall in ha uh, intrusion detection systems ids ips anti malware solutions and different different uh, other things so it's, it's a combination of multiple things threat intelligence is not a single control so it looks like a single control in uh, the ISO standard, but it it uh, there are there are multiple things which are connected in the backend of threat intelligence. So you can you can conduct uh, maybe periodic reviews of your uh, threat environment. You can uh, continuously uh, review reports from government agencies, other organizations, uh, the industry associations. If you have any, you can keep analyzing the current events. You can keep analyzing the past incidents lessons learned from the past incidents to determine possible new attacks, uh, new attack vectors, new attack trends, new attack patterns. And uh, then uh, you can also think about uh, 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 investing into some uh, some security incident and event management tools, SIM tools for monitoring of uh, threat intelligence activities. So these SIM kind of tools, so SOAR tools and SIM tools, these are uh, uh, these are like these automatically collects the thread data from uh, various sources and formats and then uh, it consolidates the uh, data it normalizes the data so that uh, this data is available for you uh, but that some actions can be taken on this data and so organizations can effectively identify the current and uh, the potential uh, security gaps so security teams can then take uh, quick action to prevent uh, from a cyber attack or uh, to be prepared uh, to uh, minimize the damage even if that cyber attack happens. So uh, this was a quick information about uh, threat intelligence for both who want to implement uh, in the organization and who want to audit the effectiveness of the implementation. So uh, just remember if you want to audit threat intelligence, uh, then it is linked with multiple other controls. There are multiple other controls. I'm just uh, giving you four important controls uh, where the direct connection is there for the threat intelligence. So first is 5.25, which is incident, uh, incident, which is part of the incident management. So uh, assessment and uh, decision on uh, information security events, which is a key part of incident management. Uh, uh, so uh, there is a key input uh, which, uh, which, which uh, goes to threat intelligence from this. And even the threat intelligence can give key input to the incident management process. Next is your control number 8.7, which is protection against malware. You have to have appropriate antivirus malware solutions, anti-malware solutions in your organizations. Uh, 8.16, uh, monitoring activities, uh, which 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 uh, says 
like uh, network systems applications should be monitored continuously on on some regular basis for for uh, for if you want to identify some kind of anonymous behavior appropriate actions should be taken to evaluate the uh, potential information security uh, incidents or threats okay so continuous monitoring has to be in place then 8.22 is there uh, which talks about web filtering uh, which is about uh, the access to the external websites that should be managed to reduce the exposure to malicious content and all other things so uh, these are the important uh, controls where uh, we have a direct linking of threat intelligence in terms of if you want to audit threat intelligence. So that's it from my side. I have given a, a very brief introduction about uh, uh, threat intelligence, how to implement, what to implement, how to audit, what to check. And uh, I think uh, this will help you in your implementation and audit process.